Uh, my name is Dr. Gwendolyn Mock, and I'm the coordinator of keyboard studies in the School of Music and Dance at San Jose State University. One of the things I think that is really unusual about the keyboard department is that we have a collection of very valuable historic pianos here in the School of Music, which uh, combine uh, Viennese from Austrian, German, and French pianos in addition to four harpsichords, which we have received as gifts over the years since I've been here. I was brought to San Jose State in 2003 as a part-time professor, and then in 2006, I became the full-time tenure-track professor, and I just received tenure in May of 2010. I'm a specialist in the music of Maurice Ravel, who was a French composer who lived between 1875 and 1947. And one of the reasons why I brought my own historic piano, which is an 1875 French Erard, that's spelled E-R-A-R-D, is to show my students and the faculty and the community why Ravel's music needs to be heard on an in instrument from his time. Well, one of the best things about the collection that we now have here is that all these pianos are in really good playing condition. So unlike a museum, like at the Metropolitan, you are not allowed to play the pianos. Here in my department and in my office, you can come and play these pianos under supervision, of course, and have an idea of what the composer was hearing at the time when he was writing that particular piece of music. So I have my students play music by Ravel and Debussy, other French composers who lived between 1875 and 1947. So they get a very clear idea of what these composers were hearing when they were working on those particular compositions. One of the unique aspects of working here in this environment is I consider this really a kind of interdisciplinary historical research opportunity for them. So other students in other campuses may only have Steinways or Baldwins or Mason and Hamlins or Yamaha pianos, which were manufactured in the last 20 to 30 years. Our students here get to play pianos that are over 150, 60 years old. You know, I think what I am preparing my students to do now is to be able to play well, teach well, speak well, and have an intellectual and musical understanding of everything that they do. I teach my students how to interpret French music, German music, uh, and I think that the key to being a success in any environment, whether it be today or a hundred years ago, is to be able to do many different things well. And I think just playing the piano well is just part of the ingredient. That, that is a given, because there's so many pianists out there. We don't need another great pianist. I think we need great thinkers. I think we need people who have imagination.